England captain Harry Kane was taken to a private hospital to have a scan on his ankle. He went down in the 48th minute against Iran, but carried on playing until the 75th. Um, he's a doubt for the USA game on Friday. James Madison was also absent again from uh, training. He's still recovering from a knee injury. Talk Sports England correspondent Faye Carruthers joins us now for more. Good morning, Faye. Morning. Good morning. Lovely to be with you. Lovely for you to come in your England shirt as well <laughs> this morning. I have to say why I did this, because I was completely outdone and outclassed by Lawrence Mora, who came in full Wales <laughs> kit and bucket hat the other day. <laughs> I thought, I'm not having that. So. Wales <laughs> brought, uh, Lawrence Mora bought Wales bucket hats as well. So he bought gifts for all of us. Oh, hold on a minute. Well, I'm Do you I'm have gifts? I, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> don't worry, Are you going to kick me off like right now? You've got knowledge, though, and that's all we need <laughs> from you. So um, a lot of the headlines this morning are about Harry Kane and, mm. and this ankle injury. Do we have anything to worry about? Well, uh, he's having a scan. That's what we know. Um, whether that's precautionary or not, we don't know. Um, when I saw him after the game, so he went down very close to where I was behind the goal. Um, and he looked immediately uncomfortable and was down for quite a long time. And straight away, the players got the physios on to, to check him out. If there was any problem whatsoever, there's no way on earth he would have stayed on for another 20 minutes or so as as, as he did. Mm. And Gareth Southgate, after the match, said he was absolutely fine. Um, Kane himself had said he was fine and he was up with his family straight away rather than getting any, any kind of treatment after the game. When I saw him walking through... Um, the tunnel where we do the uh, flash interview mm -hmm. straight after the, the match. He had sliders on, but didn't have any strapping that I could see. Um, but then when he walked through the mix zone, which is a, a separate part as the players come out to, to get the bus to, to leave, um, there was a photograph of him with light strapping on and a slight limp. And I hadn't seen him limping before that. When I went to training yesterday, um, he wasn't out there. None of the starters were out there, which is as usual um, and I was told that he was inside with the rest including Harry Maguire who had been ill and had to come off and that they were just doing their usual you know like cool down post-match um, exercises and that there was no problem at all and then it ca came out Tuesday night that he was going to be going for it for a scan now to me for somebody who has, has a history of ankle problems and sees a specialist in Spain that kind of makes sense to me. If there's any kind of problem with it, any kind of niggle, why would you not get it scanned? Mm. So uh, I'm not a medic, by the way. I'm not saying You're this not. at all. I'm not. No, <laughs> funnily enough, I do not oh, have no. my PhD with me today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, um, I I think it's precautionary. We'll find out a little bit more today. I'm heading down to the England camp after I've done this and, yeah. uh, and we'll hopefully find out a little bit more. I think for, for me, it looked a bad twist and... Uh, Gabby will know when you've got your boots on and you've got the adrenaline going, your boot acts as a compression, the adrenaline gets you through the game, it's after you take your boot off and your, your ankle balloons up and you need to sort of get strapping on it straight away to keep it swelling down. So I'm slightly more worried yeah. than, than you are. You're filling me with confidence, but I'm slightly more <laughs> know, worried well, seeing like, the, the mechanism of the role. I'm eternally optimistic. The fact there was no ice, what does that mean? Would that would that be a positive or a negative? The magic, the magic ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he probably would have ice in the dressing room. He's not going to you don't walk around in the mix zone with ice on you. Well, your ankle, yeah. And if he's got sliders on, which that means his foot's swollen and he can't get his boot on. So, but they all have sliders okay. on afterwards. But the, the, other, the other thing that I, that I also think is if it was a big problem and you don't want the press to see, you wear yeah. tracksuit bottoms on your way out if it's a big thing. But I mean, these are all, this is the thing as journalists, okay? We, we view things very differently. When You're we're in the tunnel, positive. we're looking yeah. at different, we're looking at different things and I'm trying to gra g yeah. grab the positives. Yeah. <laughs> I think as well, if there's one injury that you can play with, it's a sore ankle, isn't it? You know, if it's not a bad twist, you can sort of play with an ankle injury. But would you recommend that though, Gabby? Because that's, that, that's, <laughs> no, my, that's my worry. Do you rest him for USA? I no. I was looking like, no. no. <laughs> I've, I've, honestly, I've had some like ankle injuries where it's swollen and you strap it up. The, the physios have put a big strapping on it. Yeah, but all of sort of like, get, you can sort of play with it. Have, have, you seen it, have you seen his ankles? All of his big injuries are on his ankles. As mm. soon as he rolls his ankle, I, I honestly fear the worst. Yeah. Oh, and but I feel like muscle. <laughs> Sorry, but no. What I'm saying is, like, you know, if it's a muscle injury and you're like, oh, oh that could be yeah. too weaker. You know, if an ankle, you can sort of, if it's not a serious one, you can strap it up and try and um, play some part of the game. But if he's not right, then but I know, him against you. I know since he's been working with that Spanish physio, he's not had an ankle problem in two years. Mm. I think the last ankle one he had was like, three or four days before the League Cup final against Man City. 
and he mm. saw the he saw the the physio constantly for three or four days, and he managed to get the swelling down and get him on the pitch. So and they lost. Yes, they did lose. <laughs> yeah. the, I mean, no, no, no. You're not helping. Laura. I was just saying. I was just saying because I was there that day. That was before when that was, Jose went, wasn't it? Yeah, that was when Ryan Mason and was in charge. Did, yeah, yeah, Ryan was the manager. And um, what makes that physio so good, by the way, the Spanish one? You, you know what? About? He's actually seen me for my knee. He is an absolute genius. He's invented his own technique. He doesn't go by the book. He just closes his eyes. He mm. feels it. He gets into it. He's honestly the guy. So a we genius. need to see whether or not he's on a plane. Out no, he's here already. Oh, he's here already. Yeah. Don't worry. He's probably Excellent. working with Harry right Wonderful. now. Is he? So is he like an independent physio that you guys employ, or is he part? Is he linked to any clubs? No, he's independent. You have to employ him. And uh, let me tell you, he's not cheap. Do you get in trouble for doing that? Do clubs kind of go, well, why aren't you using our physio? Yes, but as players, you obviously have to look after yourself and look after your career. Um, Harry's obviously struggled with at, at his ankles his his whole career and mm. I've seen before pictures and after pictures of his ankles it's completely different his ankles were so swollen beforehand even when he was fit playing with massive swollen ankles and just constant work with this physio he's managed to get it to a normal wow. a normal person's size I think, I, think, I think as well Callum Wilson looks sharp when you come on yeah. so if there is a worry about Harry Kane hold and play him against um, America. I agree. Marcus Rashford scored as well. Exactly. I, I, th I think there are positives. It was Callum Wilson's assist for Jack Grealish's mm. goal. I think, well. you know... We, I, don't, I, we don't normally see Callum share like that, do we? That's yeah. quite good of him. It was very <laughs> unselfish. <Yeah. laughs> um, OK, I want to know a little bit about what camp is like when you've been down there. Very chilled, mm. uh, as, as it usually is. This... this camaraderie is is genuine um you can't fake it can you no. you can't fake that kind of thing at all and the players wander around we we have a a player turns up for the press conference and, and one comes in to talk to us at, at talk sport because we're rights holders um and they're very chilled match day minus one we sit in bedouin tents speaking to the manager and mm -hmm. uh, the other day i spoke to, to jordan pickford it's a really nice chilled atmosphere and the hotel that they've got is about um, a kilometer and a half away from where our media center is it's it's on a beach they've got loads of stuff to keep them occupied and um you know these it, all you need to do is is have a look at all the content that's coming out of the camp to see that these guys get on really well Faye, there was a comment um, Gareth Southgate made about um, fears that England could be targeted by VAR in the tournament. What, what did he mean by that? So he's spoken to me on this uh, for, uh, on a couple of occasions because the briefings that they had from FIFA showed England as an example with the grappling and, uh, and blocking. Mm. And the FA are quite concerned that, and, and they believe that um, FIFA should have used a team that's not in the tournament as an example for referees because potentially there could be a little bit of bias there. Having seen, mm. I think it was in the game against Albania that the 5-0 the win... Um, where Calvin Phillips um, blocked off for, for Harry Maguire to, to score. And they're using that as an example for the referees. So the referees will automatically think, OK, that's how England do set pieces. Um, and the stats are that England, nine of their 12 goals in 2018 came from set pieces. So they're being watched mm. and they feel as if that could potentially, you know, bring a little bit of bias. And you, you can tell as well because... By the letter of the law, yes, I think it was Stones pulled his shirt, but in, in, in the Premier League, you don't even look twice at that. You no. don't even you don't even zoom in on that. You you look at it from afar. You say, all right, fine, carry on. But you can tell they're instantly flagged up, and and like Gareth said, it seems that like they're being targeted for but it. But then Maguire doesn't get his. Uh, yeah, that well, was more. That, that yeah. Was but this is, this this is yeah. the issue, and this yeah. is what Gareth Southgate said to me post match as well: is that that there's there's a discrepancy there, and it, if, if it's across the board standardised, mm. I don't think anybody can complain. We see it in the Champions League, don't we? Mm. There's ever so slightly different interpretation of the laws, which you get in tournaments. But well, what they said about the reason why Maguire didn't get it is because they they it was a they were both trying to play the balls. So it was a tussle rather than if the defender, for example, had been holding or trying to or not even had his eye on the ball, he was making no genuine attempt for it. Because we had one yesterday, which is why Roy Keane and Graham Souness got into a little ding dong because um, there was a penalty given, which, of course, Messi um, put away. And it was because there was no genuine attempt from the defender. It wasn't even looking at the ball. So that's kind of the advice that's been filtered down from the officials. Um, Faye, we've got to let you go. You're brilliant. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Um, we'll have you back on very, very soon.